How is cellulose acetate made? Have you ever wondered how cellulose acetate, a material used in everything from textiles to films, is created? Let's break down the process step by step. First, we start with cellulose, which is a natural polymer found in plants like wood pulp and cotton linters. The first task is to prepare this raw material. We need highly purified cellulose to ensure it reacts well. This cellulose is activated or pretreated to make it clean and reactive. Next comes the exciting part, the acetylation reaction. In this step, we react cellulose with acetic anhydride using a catalyst like sulfuric acid. This reaction typically takes place in a solvent, such as acetic acid or sometimes methylene chloride. The solvent helps dissolve the cellulose and control the reaction conditions. During this process, the hydroxyl groups on the glucose units of cellulose are converted into acetate groups through esterification. The degree of substitution is important here. If we acetylate nearly all hydroxyl groups, we get cellulose triacetate. If fewer acetyl groups are present, we end up with cellulose diacetate. The reaction is exothermic, meaning it releases heat, so we need to cool it down to keep everything under control. Mechanical mixing is also essential to ensure that the reaction is uniform throughout the cellulose mass. After acetylation, we may want to adjust the acetyl content. This is done through partial hydrolysis, which reduces the acetyl content and produces cellulose diacetate. This step is crucial because cellulose diacetate is more soluble and flexible, making it suitable for different applications. Once we have our desired product, we move on to purification and washing. The reaction mixture contains byproducts like acetic acid and leftover catalysts. Washing the cellulose acetate with water helps remove these impurities and any unreacted chemicals, separating the cellulose acetate from the solvent. The final step is drying. After washing, we dry the cellulose acetate to obtain a solid polymer product. This polymer can then be dissolved in solvents like acetone for fiber spinning or film casting, depending on its intended use. From a chemistry perspective, cellulose acetate is a derivative of cellulose formed by esterifying the hydroxyl groups with acetic acid derivatives. The conditions of the reaction, the catalysts used, and the degree of substitution all play a role in determining the final properties of the cellulose acetate. In material science, cellulose acetate has practical applications in textile fibers, photographic films, coatings, and membranes. Its biodegradability and renewable source make it an important material in both polymer chemistry and material science. Understanding how cellulose acetate is made not only highlights its significance but also showcases the fascinating processes involved in transforming natural materials into useful products.